Hi everyone, welcome back to our scene. Uh, in this tutorial, we will see how to uh, scatter uh, vegetation using the uh, Roadscape vegetation asset. So in order to do it, we will simply start by disabling extra generators in the scene. This will help with uh, performance and we will also uh, enable force performance mode, okay? So what we want to do first, guys, is to uh, duplicate our object, Rotscape object, with uh, Shift-D and a right-click to reset the transforms. We can hide the original object and uh, go out of performance mode. Once we are there, we want to uh, simply uh, click on display terrain only. So this will uh, remove the road, as you can see and uh, anything else than the terrain and the support mesh. And you want to scroll down to uh, optional. And in optional, you want to uh, uncheck output, output subdivided so the paths mesh for markings, okay? So once uh, this is done, uh, we only have our terrain here and we can do a control A, visual mesh to geometry. So this operation will rasterize the mesh and uh, will remove the modifier. Everything is rasterized as a regular geometry. Okay, no more geometry nodes going on. So we needed that because we will need to uh, merge this uh, mesh uh, with the vegetation uh, asset. So now that we have done this, we can bring the vegetation asset into the scene. And as you can see, it comes with uh, two, uh, three collection, a real trees mesh with a bunch of real trees, trees billboard with a bunch of trees billboards, and a grass, which is just a grass mesh and the vegetation scatter. So we are not going to unselect this and we are simply going to do the usual Alt S, Alt R, Alt G when we uh, import stuff into the scene. And everything is centered into uh, the center of our, our um, Scene. So now we want to uh, close the, the collections and we want to uh, select the vegetation scatter. We need to merge the rasterized terrain with the vegetation scatter. So the way to do it, you simply uh, select the roadscape terrain, uh, rasterized terrain first, and then you do a control click and you select the vegetation scatter next. Okay, and then you can simply do a control G and it will merge the uh, rasterized uh, terrain geometry into the uh, vegetation scatter object. So now if we select the vegetation scatter object and go into init mode, we can see that it contains the rasterized uh, terrain geometry. Okay, very good. So now, uh, what we need to do, we need to open both of the uh, vegetation scatter uh, modifiers and input the roadscape object inside them, okay? The next thing we want to do we want to select the roadscape vegetation scatter objects and go into our asset library and select the remove terrain uh, tool that we will drop onto our uh, object. Okay. Now, if we scroll down here in the modifier tab, we can see that it added a tool, which is the roads roadscape remove terrain. Okay. Now the remove terrain comes with the material to remove setup to terrain 0.002 by default we want we need to change that to the actual terrain uh, material is in roadscape which is terrain so this is a bug by default i need to fix it i don't know why still materials are pretty buggy in geometric nodes so you simply have to select the support as well here okay so terrain and support and now as we can see the vegetation scatter do not output anything anymore because we are removing the terrain and the support which are the only piece of mesh that are uh, present in our um, vegetation mesh yet so we can just do it like that what we can do we can show the uh, roadscape original uh, object uh, again and go out of performance mode this will help us see the actual terrain of the object the roadscape object okay we can select back the vegetation scatter and go into a uh, weight paint mode okay if you go into vertex uh, group on the vegetation scatter object you can see that there is trees and grass so we are going to select trees and we will try to simply draw some trees uh, aside uh, on the side of the road and as you can see, they will instantly start to scatter around the road. 
The good thing with the scatter is that you can uh, go over the road and the, it will never scatter uh, stuff uh, over the road. It will always do it uh, outside on the, the outskirt of the, the road itself. And so this is basically how you can scatter uh, vegetation in Roadscape. You can just uh, simply go around and uh, scatter geometry like that. Uh, so yeah, this is for the trees. Then you can just select the grass vertex group and do basically the same. You can just go and put some grass. And uh, let's get rid of our uh, wireframe. And as you can see it, we have uh, our geometry that is scattered, okay? So the scattering uh, of uh, vegetation in Roadscape uh, take in account the distance from the road. So as you can see, you can see you have a LOD beyond. This is the, the info you, you want to change if you want it. So LOD beyond tells the system that uh, beyond uh, 50, 15 meters uh, from the road geometry, the vegetation will start to spawn uh, LODs uh, billboard geometry, as you can see here. Okay, so this is basically how it works. There are a lot of options in the scatterers. You can always move the seed. This is the main one, the most useful one, I would say. You can change uh, the seed so that you can change the the scatter the vegetation. You can also uh, change the max uh, density, the mean density. I would not recommend touching that. There is no reason. You, you have a density multiplier, which we, which is on top of the max density. So by default, it's 3.5. You can always reduce it or increase it, and it will simply change the density of the spawned vegetation. Uh, there is a rotation seed. You can change the rotation seed. The rotation is random, is uh, randomized uh, between each instance. You can cho choose the max scale and the mean scale okay, of your uh, trees. And then you have the instance Z offset. This will simply uh, offset on the Z axis by how much they stick out of the terrain or not. And if you go into the grass, so we have a, this is our tree. Just tree scattering. Let's go back into the grass. Let's put some grass uh, here and somewhere around here. So now we have some grass going on. And uh, as you can see, the grass uh, object modifier has the instance follow normals uh, set to one. And so the, what does it mean? It means that the instance spawn of the grass will follow the normals of the terrain. If we set it to zero, you can see that everything is staying uh, straight up, so it's looking uh, up. But if we uh, go and set it up to one, it will follow as it spawns the uh, orientation, the normals of the terrain. Okay, so this is basically it about the uh, vegetation scattering uh, tool in a uh, roadscape, guys. As you can see, it's pretty uh, straightforward. There is a bit of manipulation you have to do with the terrain rasterized and merging uh, correctly inside the scattering tool at first, but uh, you can see that it's pretty easy to use. So, uh, you know, you can just come over here and you don't have to pay attention to uh, whether or not you are drawing uh, vegetation uh, over the the road or not because it will always uh, it will always go around the road same for the trails okay guys so this is basically the the scattering tool as you can see it's uh, fairly easy to use and pretty straightforward so uh, thank you for watching this video guys i'll see you in the next one thank you